I just spent the last three days playing the Diablo 4 closed beta and got every class to 25. And I just wanted to share my thoughts on each class and the beta itself. I just want to preface this video by saying I'm sick, so my voice is a little more monotone and my thoughts are a little more scrambled. So if something doesn't make sense, just let me know and I'll try to explain myself a little better. The first class that I played was the Sorceress. Going into this, I didn't watch any streams or look at anyone's bills or anything like that. I kind of just played, looked at skills, and tried my own thing. Sorceress gave a lot of options for experimenting and going for different element types like fire, ice, and lightning. I originally wanted to go into it with a fire build, but as things kind of progressed, I switched over to an ice build because I got items that helped me do more damage to frozen enemies and enemies that are stunned, etc. I had a lot of fun with the Sorceress's earlier abilities, like chain lightning was really fun to use. Just using the lightning skills overall was fun to use and just going through the leveling as a whole. Sorceress was really fun and honestly from all the classes, from the three classes that are available, uh, I think at least in my the build that I used in my experience, I think Sorceress is the most well-rounded of the three currently playable. Um, I didn't die once as Sorceress except for to the world boss. Um, unlike the other two classes, I died a few times but yeah leveling with lightning and fire abilities mainly. I didn't really have any issues clearing big packs or, you know, just soloing bosses or whatever. The whole the whole experience of Sorceress from leveling to the final build that I got with Ice, it all felt really good and solid. Like, you have really good mobility with the teleport if you decide to use it. In the final build, I didn't. I decided to just go for all Ice and CC. Lots of CC if you go for the Ice build. Lots of different skills and abilities and items that can go into frozen damage or chill damage or stun CC damage, etc. Lots of small hits, but when they get unfrozen, they take a big chunk of damage. And with everything combining together, all those bonuses for freezing and crowd controlling, it, it builds up for a lot of a lot of solid damage. One really unique thing that I liked in my earlier build with the Sorceress with Lightning is that you can proc these little balls that fall on the ground and when you pick them up, they shoot out to everyone near you and do a little bit of damage. Uh, you can make it drop more or less and do more damage, etc. And I thought that was really unique and an interesting interesting way to play a uh, sorceress at the beginning like i mentioned before i originally started with a lightning fireish build because i wanted to go into crit uh it seems like lightning is kind of the crit uh spec i guess you would call it there weren't a, lo a crazy amount of crit things that you could do in the beta like way later in the in the tree there were some things with lightning that makes it crit more but i don't yeah you don't really get enough points in the beta to go into that so i ultimately decided just to hop off the crit train and switch to ice I use Frostbolt as my basic ability, Frozen Orb as my core ability, Ice Armor for defensive, Ice Blades for conjuration, Blizzard for the, the mastery skill, and Deep Freeze for the ultimate. I'll show all the different things that I specced into bonus-wise or passive-wise um, on the screen so you can take a look at that as well as all the different gear I had on at the end of my play session with Sorceress. Overall, I think Sorceress is not the most fun class that I got to 25 and played, but it was definitely the most solid and well-rounded, at least from all the builds that I've used um, from Sorceress and other classes. The most well-rounded class and build that I found. The second class I played was the Rogue. The first class I ever played in a Diablo game was the Demon Hunter. Rogue is basically Diablo 4's Demon Hunter. Uh, the difference is, though, that not only can you use range, you can use melee abilities as well, getting both a slot for ranged and two slots for melee. Kind of keeping on the same track I did with Sorceress, uh, I went with like the auto track abilities. So in this case, it would be the Heart Seeker, which is like a crit ability the more you use it. Um, I ultimately decided to keep with the crit, but I switched off that and went for like Forceful Arrow, which makes people vulnerable. Uh, my, end, my end build consisted mostly of critting with also doing vulnerable and stacking poison with the poison trap. As of the beta, you know, we only can get to level 25. Rogue does not feel as agile and as quick as the Demon Hunter in Diablo 3. There's still plenty of things that can make the Rogue quick. Funnily enough, uh, well, at least with the builds that I did, Rogue felt the least mobile of classes. Like, there's a lot of movement speed stuff tied to Rogue that you can go into. With Sorceress and Barbarian, Sorceress has a teleport, Barbarian has sleep. For me, I didn't really have any mobile thing like that with rogue uh, cow trap you jump backwards in the air but it's not really like a movement speed thing but as i mentioned before you can basically spec into either range or melee with rogue like 
there's there's a few abilities for each of them on like out during the path down so you can choose your melee builds or your ranged builds or you can probably do a hybrid if you wanted to but me personally i like to do lots of hits really quick with range so i decided to go with rapid fire rapid fire in my opinion one of, an amazing ability one of the, one of the most fun abilities i've got to use in this game just because it, it makes my brain like go burr it makes my serotonin and dopamine just good uh, lots of hits lots of vulnerability lots of crits really fun ability to use it's the, pretty much my main at least for my build the main damage dealing ability i had the rest of my abilities were pretty much utility cow traps or call traps i'm not sure how to say it slows down makes them more vulnerable when they're inside so they take like 25 percent more damage when they're slowed down by the by the trap i also had the poison trap the longer they stay in it the more accumulated damage they take it builds up it's it's big damage even without specking into poison the third one i went which is a little a little unorthodox was smoke grenade smoke grenade uh dazes the reason i went smoke grenade is because i have a uh, spec into passives that make it so i do more crits against people who are knocked down and if i if i crit them while they're dazed then they get knocked down which goes into more crit it's just like it's just a, it's just a, 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 a circle of uh critting yeah the trap build just consists of critting uh knocking back to do more have more crit chance against someone dazing them, knocking them down again for more crit chance against them, just keep doing that over and over again. As well as when I crit someone with my rapid fire, my attack speed gets boosted by 54%, so I can just attack really, really fast, keep knocking back, keep making vulnerable, just moving, throwing traps down, doing big damage really quick. Rogue was a nice change of pace from Sorceress with, there's, it, it felt like I was moving around more, uh, I wasn't moving around faster necessarily, just I was more active with my abilities, doing lots of hits, taking things out from really far away. Rogue was a f definitely a fun class to play. And once you get to a certain level, you unlock like your class ability, which the more you have different choices, but the one I use, the more you use your basic ability, it builds up like these tokens. And when you use your core ability, it enhances that ability itself so with multi-shot i would shoot instead of five times i would shoot eight times if i had the three tokens built up but rogue was definitely the squishiest class i played as uh not the class that i had most as but the squishiest class if you get caught out of place and you can't dodge you're, you're pretty much dead as rogue my final build skills consist of forceful arrow rapid fire cow traps poison trap smoke grenade and death trap just like sorceress i'll show all my different items suffixes and all the different skills i specced into at the end of my play session with rogue overall rogue was a nice change of pace from sorceress really fun class it started off a little weak a little slow but once i started getting decent weapons with good weapon damage and suffixes it was just all uphill from there and it just kind of snowballed itself so if you're into classes that do lots of damage really quick with lots of different hits while moving around i would definitely recommend rogue the final and in my opinion most interesting class i played was the barbarian just like the sorceress barbarian wasn't really a class i played in diablo 3 melee classes in general i don't really touch in rpgs i typically go for summoning builds when it comes to that but even being being newer with Barbarian, there's still lots of complexities and lots of different intricacies with Barbarian. Barbarian is the only class to have four weapons each weapon can be tied to different skills and different abilities like granting their own different bonuses or perks for example i went with a whirlwind kind of build bleed whirlwind build uh i specced into something for whirlwind where i have a slashing weapon when i'm whirlwinding it applies 20 percent of that base damage is bleed if i were to use a blunt weapon it wouldn't that wouldn't it wouldn't affect it at all there's other bonuses where if you use an ability it'll stun for like one and a half second one second but if you do it with a two-handed blunt weapon or a two-handed weapon in general, it'll make it like a two-second stun. On top of being able to use almost any weapon with any skill, there are weapon expertise passives. So each different kind of weapon, a uh, one-handed short sword, one-handed mace, two-handed sword, uh, a pole arm, etc. They all have their own expertise and those gain passive bonuses like the two-handed sword applies more bleed. The one-handed axe has more crit chance against injured enemies. The one-handed mace gives you more ability to stun. The pole arm gives you a lucky hit chance. All of them level up as you use them. So it's like World of Warcraft's weapon levels. You 
you have to use it to level it up. Unfortunately, we couldn't do the Barbarian's class quest, which unlocks its technique. I'm not even sure what that is because it's way out of the beta's uh, zone area. But initially playing Barbarian, I was honestly overwhelmed. Like noticing all the different abilities, all the different weapons I could use and how they all affect each other. I had no idea what path I wanted to take. And with how aggro Barbarian is, I think Barbarian is one of the hardest classes to play but i personally think it might be as of this beta the strongest in my opinion from out of all the builds i played and everything i did barbarian seems to i don't know be be the strongest class after figuring out you know melee build and everything dying a lot definitely died the most as barbarian i de i had the most fun with this class honestly i ended up going for a bleed thorn build um they kind of meshed together you can go into just bleed or just thorns and you can make it even better in that regard but i feel like the build i did complements both really well and with all if i use all my abilities and get all my passives up i can hurt enemies for over a thousand damage just from them attacking me not even me attacking them that mixed in with barbarian's nice movement of leap you can spec into a passive for a leap that makes it so the cooldown's even shorter if you don't hit anybody the class felt really smooth and it was really 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 fun to play all of that being said barbarian's intricacies i don't think i will be maining barbarian on launch i will definitely be dabbling in it but i'm not gonna be like a barbarian main i'm not gonna dive deep into it because it's just it, a little too complex for my brain like it's it's just it's as complex as you want it to be but i want it i want to utilize it well i don't want to min max it necessarily but i feel like if i were to go deep into barbarian i would just it would just be kind of stressful for me personally i would like to reiterate that this is just from my experience and the builds i chose i did not look up anyone else's build I barely watched anyone else's streams. The only streams I watched were from like variety streamers and they all went sorceress with like chain lightning. So I haven't seen, I never even saw Rogue or Barbarian before that aside from gameplay trailers and stuff. With all that being said, my final build consisted of Flay, which is a bleed on hit uh, basic ability, Whirlwind, Challenging Shout, Leap, Rupture, and Wrath of the Berserker. All of these tie into bleed and thorns, etc. My fourth ability, I wasn't too sure really. The ultimate abilities are kind of i don't know for barbarian but the reason i went with the wrath of the berserker is because it gives you berserking for five seconds and i have items in my build which i will show later that when i have berserking i gain even more thorns berserking is a trigger that gives you 25 percent more damage and 15 percent more movement speed originally i tried to go for a berserking type of build since it seems like a strong buff 25 percent damage and 15 percent movement speed i originally went with the uh, lunging strike and when you you can spec into that when you crit you get berserking for a second and then i went with double swing where you can spec into that as well where if you attack with double swing while you have berserking it extends it for even longer ultimately i decided micromanaging berserking and all this while trying to learn a new cl a complicated class in my opinion uh, as well as a melee class something i'm not used to that it'll just be easier to try bleed and i just went into thorns naturally based off the skill tree the one thing that my build specifically i don't know if it's a barbarian thing or just my build thing it's probably just a me thing is that my single target damage against bosses that don't attack much is really really not that great aside from that i could clear out big waves of monsters if something attacks me fast and i have my my thorn abilities up they're going down really really quick but if something's slow hitting and has a lot of health it is it is a struggle to wrap things up from my experience barbarian was the most fun class i've played and i think the strongest that the beta has showed based off at least the builds and all the things that i've tested to sum up the beta and diablo 4 as a whole it is i had so much fun honestly i've never played a beta this much i don't think ever i'm not a big fan of playing betas a lot and investing a lot of time into them because i know ultimately i'm gonna lose all my progress this is definitely something i am happy that i spent time with and did not for many moments feel bored or uninterested in continuing i was absolutely blown away by the diablo 4 cinematic the one as soon as you open the game and it plays it plays this cinematic it is the most beautiful it is the coolest it is if you haven't seen it 
definitely look it up. Diablo 4 opening cinematic. It is amazing and you won't regret watching it. The world felt alive. Like there's so much to do. Kind of, it kind of feels like Lost Ark in that sense. There's a lot of different things to do when you're out in the world. Like from events, there's a lot of side quests, world bosses, harvesting, and there's a crazy amount of dungeons. And dungeons aren't short either. Even with only just a small part of the world available to us, there is so much to explore and to see and to do. I don't even think I've cleared the whole map. When I was playing Barbarian, my last character, I uncovered an area I've never been before and found a stronghold I've never seen before. With all the praise I've given it, there were issues. As it is a beta, there were some bugs, uh, some invisible walls. The game wouldn't let me walk forward. There were a lot of errors on the first day I could barely play that Friday. At times there were performance issues where my FPS would just die. Like it would go down to like five or it'll freeze for a second. It happened a lot when I was starting as Barbarian, but outside of that, it didn't happen too much. Hopefully with Blizzard's experience with the last numbered Diablo games launch that uh things go a little better this year, this title. The launch was a little rough for this beta, but I'm sure they'll tighten that up and hopefully have the servers good to go on Diablo 4's launch. To wrap everything up, the game the beta was really fun, even with the small amount we had available. The game is absolutely beautiful. It is gorgeous. And I'm excited to play Necromancer and Druid next weekend. Thank you for watching and stay tuned for more Diablo 4 content in the future. This audience is concluded.